Hello everybody, this is Glenda with AKA GK Fralin, a friendly community, and I'm glad you're joining us. Yesterday, I was kind of giving a progress report on Robin because the last she had, you know, put on Facebook, she was still in the hospital and unfortunately might have to go to a rehab for a couple of weeks. Something did a turnaround because we got this message on, yes, in the comments on yesterday's video. Woohoo! I am home and I'm loving my chair from Robin Russell. So we're so glad she's home. Glad she's glad to be there and praying everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> so anyway, but uh, yeah, I don't know how she kept such a positive attitude that whole time because I'm having a trouble keeping a positive attitude and I'm home. <laughs> you guys helped me do that. But uh, I took my meds and my eyes are kind of feeling it. I don't know why. That and the dry heat. And what else can I think of to blame this on? <laughs> the weather. <clears throat> I think I reported, well, that might have been a few days ago that we were supposed to have get up into the 70s. Well, we haven't reached it yet. And it don't like look like we're going to for a little while, according to the expanded report. And to, it looks like our lows are going to stay in the 30s. That is actually pretty average for November in Nebraska. So I shouldn't be complaining. I just don't, <laughs> I don't like cold, but I'm, I don't have to really get out in it, but I don't know. I'm a wimp. Call me a wimp. I am one. Joe come home today. Sweet Joe. You know, that guy. Hi, guys. <laughs> I found me a man. This is Joe. Say hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what did you do today? Uh, formed up for a closet in the bedroom. It had like a door this big. <laughs> Well, I had normal size. Normal size. One door. Single door. And now it's and it's a deep closet. Now it's going to have a nice big bike fold. Well, four foot wide. That's a lot bigger than it was. Yeah. So, this is the guy that does all the good stuff around here. <laughs> I'm embarrassing him. And I asked him how his day went. And he was busy. And then he started listing all the trucks and product that came in today. And it was like, oh, I'm glad it was you, not me. Anyway, but uh, they uh, all seemed to want to come today. <laughs> so I don't know. And it kind of changes. It's over the time that he's worked there. It's kind of the busy days have changed around a lot. It used to be the a lot of the trucks came in on Tuesday, and then so we would try to set my appointments for a Wednesday, and then they started coming in on Wednesday, so we set them for Thursday, and then they started coming in on Thursday. Now they're back to Tuesday. <laughs> you can't win for losing, <laughs> but I anyway. I found some interesting things out today I was looking I was looking at all the different kinds of things for COPD where was I I got I lost track of my brain nothing I, I know nothing new you don't have to tell me it's part of my charm anyway yeah I was looking on the internet today internet I was looking at Nate on the night <laughs> 
I was looking on the internet and I did a search for you know, alternative medicine when it comes to COPD, just out of curiosity. And you know, there's, there's this Asian mix I've been getting that I, every once in a while I'll mention it. Mention it. It's an Asian, Asian nut crunch spice mix. And it's, it's got like, it's got a lot of nuts in it, but it's also got, um, it's also got these kind of crunchy things and they're, they've got Asian spices in them. Well, it turns out that those, this one is giving me trouble. Anyway, give it, it turns out that those, at least some of those Asian spices are good bronchodilators. Who knew? Well, I don't know, probably a lot of people, but just. <laughs> so now I know why I like this stuff so much. Because I know when I, there's, I know which ones are real spicy. I love the taste of the spice. I don't like the heat. So I've learned, you know, you got to get it way back on. In the, don't let it touch the tip of your tongue or you're in trouble. It, it seems to like after a day, it's like when you first open the bag, that first bowl of crunch out of there, seems to be a little spicier. But um, I don't know if it's once you let that first you know, first, put, it's, I mean, it's a Ziploc, so it does zip back shut. Anyway, then by the very bottom of the bag, it's like with anything you salty, you get the very bottom, and that's when you get the concentration of it all. So, <laughs> I try to, I, I, I try to mix the top of the bag in, and uh, with some of the older stuff, and then I don't eat the very bottom of the bag. I don't eat the little bits at the bottom of the bag. Because, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. But I have burned my tongue a time or two. But I just thought it was fascinating that I liked those spices. Because, well, it had to be the flavor. I love chili. I just don't like the heat of chili. And I don't like onions because I can't stand a raw onion because I just... It's that kind of heat that I just don't like. It's like the kind that gets up in your nose and everything, you know. But <laughs> anyway, so. But uh, there was that. And uh, they, uh, there's this thing they sent home with me when I was in the hospital one time. They called, uh, some have called it a flute-like thing. Some have called it a kind of a trumpet. But to blow into it. I've had it for a long time, and I use it. I don't use it as much as I did when I was in the hospital. But if it's there in front of me and I think about it, I'll use it. Well, come to find out, I should have been using it all along. I don't know why they don't tell you all of this stuff. You know, they should tell you, write it down, and stamp it on your forehead. <laughs> so, Oh, but they need to stamp it backwards so that when you look in the mirror, you can actually read it. But it, there's something, there's kind of a wheel in there that's kind of got these reed, kind of like a reed thing. When you blow through it, there's some resistance, but it, it turns that thing. And from what I understand, from what I read up on it, when it does, when that spins, it emits a low... Uh, low pitched, real low pitched um, sound or whatever that helps break stuff up and helps bring your mucus up. I know they had me doing it for a reason. I just figured it was to get me to breathe in better. <laughs> It's one of those, um, now I feel really dumb now that I said that moment. But I didn't know the science behind it. Now I'll use it more. Anyway, so. The signs you learn. Don't you guys ever just get those days when 
I mean, you're okay for most of it, and then you just have those times when you just feel like, why the heck me? That's how I was feeling before I started this. And then I got to thinking about how patient I was about take, when I was taking care of people with special needs and or developmental disabilities and physical disabilities. And I got to thinking, golly, I have had such a wonderful active life. And these people that I've cared for, I have been so honored the moment they make the smallest stride. You know, if, if they were able to suddenly, or not suddenly, it's never suddenly, but if, if I worked with them and worked with them to maybe even just make eye contact, and then they did, and I was able to praise them, and they did it again, that was huge. And I watch a lot of these servicemen and people who served, who had active lives and lost it all because of some bomb or some, you know, WMD or something, and they, don't, they don't, haven't all been soldiers. And I think, look at the stuff they overcome. And I watch this man who's has no legs to speak of. Well, he has none. He's got the very top of his thighs at best, just enough to keep some shorts in place. <laughs> And um, arm nubs that just in about here. And he's a motivational speaker. Who am I to complain? But I'm me. I'm not them. And I'm sure they have their days when they feel bad. I don't think I'd be human if I didn't have a day where I felt bad. So I can punish myself for having a few bad feelings. Or I can just realize I'm human and realize that there are people who I've felt have really graced my life with being, with helping or with something in their life improving just a little bit because maybe I've touched it or someone else, you know. And that makes me feel honored. And it makes my day feel worth it. So if this has helped anyone, if anyone's had a smile today because of me, then I'm thankful. Whatever this day has been for me and for you, there's always one thing at the end of it. And that is that I love you and I know you love me, some of you anyway. <laughs> and this is a good place to be and I, I'll see you tomorrow so hasta mañana <laughs>